and good morning. Joe Justice here coming to you live on July 19th, 2023. I am here. I am your home gym hustle hero providing you with the information, inspiration, and uh, motivation. That's right. That's the big one. The motivation that you need to achieve your health and fitness goals. Particularly if you find yourself in the situation of being a busy parent with no free time. I know exactly what that's like. I've got a 10 year old and a seven year old and uh, you know, I've got nieces and nephews and I know what it means to not have a whole lot of free time. Full time job, lots of responsibility, things to do. You've got basketball, you've got baseball, you've got playing outside, you've got travel sports, all kinds of stuff going in. So how do you find yourself able to accomplish your goals how can you achieve health and fitness goals? Well, I'm here to tell you, I like to stick with home gym workouts. And that's what I like to recommend. So if you need a little help with your information, with your inspiration, motivation, and information, go to homegymhustleheroes.com slash join and uh, you know, join up with us and I'll help you out with all that kind of stuff. If you got any questions on all that, be sure to pop me in a comment. Let me know what you think. Today, I've got a really cool, fun topic. I was wanting to talk about ways to unconventional little fit, fitness hacks for busy parents, things that you can do to kind of sneak in exercises throughout the day and, you know, enable that ability to kind of sneak things in. Um, I know it's a very common thing for people to, uh, you know, I talk about it all the time. I probably sound like a broken record when I kind of bring this kind of stuff up. But one of the big problems that uh, that people have is they imagine that the only way to exercise is, you know, what Arnold Schwarzenegger talked about doing back in the 80s. And that's going to the gym for two hours a day and eating perfectly and going through all this kind of stuff. And they don't, people don't step back to think, you know, first of all, you're not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Second of all, you're not in a bodybuilding competition. So if you want to achieve health and fitness goals, you don't need to do that kind of stuff. All you need is to basically dedicate 20 to 30 minutes a day. I believe strongly, I talked Monday about time blocking and figuring out that time frame, a time frame that you can actually achieve those goals, set it every day, turn it into a habit day in and day out, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just do it, Saturday, go ahead and hop up and do it. It's not going to hurt you. You're not going to die. Now, you are going to get some pushback from your own body. There's no way around that. Uh, you're going to get some pushback at first, but once you do it daily for a period of time, it's going to become natural to you because it's going to be a habit, and habits are how we grow as people, and we become our habits. So if you make a habit of uh, doing some fitness activities every single day, you will become a fit person because that's what fitness people do. Fit people do fitness activities. You do fitness activities, hey, look at that. You're a fit person. It's as simple as that. So let's talk about some uh, some cool things along those lines. I want to talk about the micro workouts. So this is a little bitty hack that you can do. The, this is a really simple little idea that you can incorporate into your daily routine. Just imagine every time, let's say when you're at work, every time you sit down at your desk, uh, you do 10 push-ups before sitting down. How about that? That's a very simple way. You're not going to get sweaty. You're not going to be, uh, you know, it's not going to ruin your day or anything. Just do 10 push-ups or get a pull-up bar, get a pull-up bar, put it in your doorway at work or at home. And every time you go through this particular door, do two or three pull-ups, piece of cake. If you can't do pull-ups, get a, um, get, get some bands. You can find them on Amazon, some pull-up assist bands, and they can help you out. They can give you a little bit of assistance. Uh, another thing, of course, one of the really popular things to do, which I'm a big believer in, is if you've got like a watch, like an Apple Watch or a Samsung Watch or something like that, after a period of inactivity, they'll tell you to get up and move around, which those are great, but you do not have to have high technology for that. Set a timer. I'm a big believer in using timers. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've got one right here. I keep it on my desk. You can take a look at it. This is my timer. I set these timers for whenever I do activities. So like if I want to do spend 30 minutes doing something, I set it like that, work on it for 30 minutes or whatever my time period is, 
and uh, then as it ticks away, then you can do it. That's also a great way to avoid burnout. If you're working on a project, if you got a tight deadline or something like that, what happens quite a bit is you get burned out because you're just working on it all the time. If you set a timer, only work on it in like 20 minute chunks, that will keep you from getting that burnout. So that's a great way to do that. But you can set yours for every 45 minutes. Every 45 minutes, you get out of your chair, go for a walk around the block, something to that effect. Walk up and down the steps at work. That's a great one. So little ways to get these little micro workouts in. Push-ups, pull-ups, and stair climbs. Those are just the best. Those are just the best. If you know you do that throughout the day, then that's going to improve your health and fitness, especially if you combine that with a 20 to 30 minute workout every single morning. Th those are gonna be killer and those are gonna be super helpful for you. Let's talk about active commuting. So that's another great way of doing things. So I notice, and you probably noticed this too, have you ever seen, you ever go to Walmart and you see the people that will like wait 20 minutes behind the car that's backing out just so they can get that space at the very front? And I always see that and I think all you have to do is walk a couple extra feet and you could park down at the end. So that, that uh, physical challenge to commuting that's going to give you big dividends because our whole world today is designed to make everything easier. You walk to your car, you sit down in air conditioning, you drive to a place, you get in the elevator, you go down, you go to your office, walk to your office that's like half a block away, you get on the elevator, you go up to your floor, you go to your desk, then you sit and you sit and you sit and then you get up, you go to lunch, you know, you walk to your uh, kitchen. Well, Add just tiny bits of, uh, of physical difficulty to that kind of stuff. Make it an active commute. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Park at the, at the back of every parking lot. First of all, the spaces are right there. They're always available. You never have to look for parking. If you park at the very end of every uh, parking lot, then and you get that little extra walk. It's not going to kill you. What, are you going to die? You're going to die because you have to walk you know, a couple extra hundred feet? No. You're going to feel great. And again, add it on to the, the daily workout. Those are going to really help you out. And again, I do want to stress this. I do want to stress that these become habits. If you do these kinds of things consistently, it's, not, it's the compound effect of doing this. If tomorrow you park at the end of the parking lot and you walk to Kroger's or you walk to uh, Walmart, that's not going to do anything. But if you do that consistently, every single day, you walk from the end of the parking lot. You take the stairs. Maybe instead of uh, driving to your lunch meeting, you walk, you know, maybe it's a 10, a 10 block walk. Well, that sounds like a lot, it's not really. It's not really, it's a 10 minute walk maybe. Well, take that extra 10 minutes, get outside, get some fresh air. You make that a habit. You do that consistently every single day and turn it into a habit and it will pay off big time in dividends. You do it once, one and done, and it's not going to do anything. You have to do it consistently. Have to do it consistently. And then, you know, my biggest one, the thing that I love the most is playful parenting. When it comes to, you want to get some fitness hacks, you got you to play with your kids. Playing with your kids are a big deal when it comes to, again, we're talking about fitness hacks. We're talking about how to incorporate and, and, and make a habit of regular, everyday, physical fitness activity. And the best way to do that is playing with your kids because they love physical interaction. Believe me, even, even your kids, even those kids that you think just sit and stare at their tablets all day long, you grab them. By, you know, grab them by their ribs and give them that little tickle deep down inside and you start playing with them and that rough and tumble kind of throwing them around a little bit and wrestling with them. They love it. They love it. And there's your physical activity. Why, why do overhead presses when you can pick up your kids? You know, that's what overhead presses are made for. Pick them up, play with them, run with them. Get down in the ground with them. Get the, get the ball and glove out. Go outside. Pass it back and forth. You know, make it a fun activity. Make it fun. Even if you do play video games, if you play Mario Party, then whoever, whoever loses the round has to do 10 jumping jacks. You know, make it fun. Make it, make it active. Play together with them. It's a big, big deal, and you'll instill in them that, that uh, desire to want to be physical, to want to be active, to not want to be passive and just sit on the couch and stare at a screen. Now, you incorporate all of these things that I've talked about here today, all of this 
expanding your, you know, doing your workout every day, short workouts, 20, 30 minutes, uh, active commuting, up and down the stairs, parking at the end of the parking lot, and play, uh, playful parenting, playing with your kids. All, you're not sitting on the couch. Where do you, what do you, what are you going to have time to sit on the couch? You don't have any time to sit on the couch. You're too busy being active. And active people are fit people. Fit people are healthy people. And that's exactly what you want to achieve. I hope you found this interesting today. I hope that you have a wonderful week. And I will see you all again on Friday. Take care and bye-bye for now.